Well, here it is, everybody. Sons of the Forest is finally here. After years of delays, uh, we've been waiting for this game for so long. The Forest was a great game. Loved the Forest. I never played the Forest in multiplayer. I only ever played it in single player, but I had a lot of fun in that game. One of the better survival games, I would say, that I played. Now, I have played about 10 hours of this in multiplayer with Scarecrow and Brobra. We did get into a multiplayer. I've seen the game. I've done some building. We've seen a bunch of the cannibals. We've seen uh, Kelvin, the new AI. So there's some new stuff in here that wasn't in the forest. There's things that were in the forest that aren't in this game yet. This is an early access build. They've gone with the whole, the whole early access thing. The way it plays is incredible. The graphics are super, super pretty. And let's just get into it and get silly, man. Let's uh, beat some cannibals over the head. Let's just get into it, man. I'm really excited for this playthrough. Hope you guys are too. Like button, all that stuff. As usual, if you enjoy the video, do hit the like button. It's super important. It's way more important than it should be on YouTube, but it is really, really, really important. So I really do appreciate you hitting the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. 50,000 subscribers is on the way and let's just get right into this Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Holy, okay, so, oh my gosh, this is like a different spawn. So there's more than one spawn. So the last couple times I started a new game, uh, I ended up on the beach. Chopper friggin' crashed into the, into the water and I ended up on the beach. This is completely different. That's crazy. So there's more than one spawn. That's pretty cool, man. I'm a big fan of that. So this guy, this is our AI friend. Now, I don't know if we get more than one of, like more than one AI friend, but this is Kelvin. He was in the chopper with us. This is the dude that you can like, you can get this guy to build for you. He's clearly in, uh, uh, he's, uh, he's not doing so well right now. So we're gonna, we're gonna help, help him up. So this guy was in the chopper. He's one of your like, uh, you know, your cohorts. He was with you in the chopper on the res rescue mission, right? I guess that's like the beginning of the story, rescue mission. Out on a rescue mission, trying to find a billionaire family that's been missing on this island. And Kelvin, unfortunately, uh, he looks like he's had his eardrums uh, blown and uh, he's bleeding from the ears and maybe a little bit of brain damage going on. He's not looking so good and uh, he can't hear a thing. So you can give him orders, right? Right now, I'm just going to tell him to follow, but you can get him to build. Uh, you can get him to grab fish for you out of the river and he's going to be a good boy and follow us around a little bit and help us out. So yeah, this is a totally different spawn. We're like up in the mountains, up in the snow. That's crazy. I did not know there was more than one place that you could crash and spawn. So we're going to loot some of this stuff. Get some of these friggin' items um, out of some of the debris. The debris from the chopper. Put a bit of luggage for three people. But, uh, you know, is what it is. Sometimes you got to pack heavy. Uh, carbon fiber arrow. That's pretty cool. I don't think I found one of those last time. So... Pretty random. We got a grenade. We got C4. Uh, put that thing away. Can use that to make a little shelter in a little bit. We got some meds, some tape. So this, I'm on a part of the map that uh, I have no idea where I am. We're gonna have to. We're gonna get cold. We're gonna get wet. Um, and then if I go into my inventory, I've got this like uh, emergency case, and I gotta open it up. Emergency pack's got my hatchet. Uh, it's got my GPS thing. Click that. And it's got something else in there too. My booklet, my survival booklet, and then my lighter is in there too. Cool. So here's my booklet, right? Uh, same as the first game, kind of, except a little bit different. We're going to build a crazy compound. Like, I want to push the limits. My goal with this is to, like, push the limits of survival. Like, uh, build a huge compound, see what we can build, see how safe we can uh, stay from the, the, the cannibals. Uh, and see if we can make it so that they can't they can't really get to us and see how long we can survive and uh, Also kind of go through the story. There's gonna be a story just like in the forest There's gonna be like background lore and a background story and in the forest. It was really cool And I imagine in this game, uh, it's probably gonna be even better So um, and as you can see the graphics are just stunning. It's super super immersive super cool the, the cannibals are smarter they're less predictable. Like in the forest, they would just like rush you and attack you. You kind of knew what they were going to do. In this game, they're a little bit more complacent. Like they're a little bit more uh, apprehensive. They kind of sometimes they'll attack you. Sometimes they won't. You can see them kind of thinking about what they're going to do. But yeah, like I said, I've only played like 10 hours. Look at this. 
So there's gonna be a lot of new discovering. I've barely touched the map. I think this map is like four times the size of the forest map, so it's massive. So that's super cool too. I think I kind of know like sort of where we are. So I think the crash site from before is like north. Yeah, directly north. That's the, that's the other crash site, the other spawn point that I've seen directly north at that cave that's at the top of the screen there. Let's get down to like the river system there and see if we can find something. One, th one thing I have noticed, I've, I heard that the cannibals can swim in this one in the forest. They wouldn't go into the water. So that was pretty OP. You could just build like near water or like in the middle of water on a, like if you find an island or something. And from what I've seen, I think it's the same in this one. I have not seen cannibal cannibals go into water that like any deeper than like a shallow river. They don't seem to go in. So we might try to get creative, maybe build above a waterfall. Now I do have a cave. Oh, wait, there's a cave right here. Okay, maybe we should hit this cave. Oh, goodness. Come on, Calvin. Come on, buddy. Try to keep up, all right? Oh, now your feet are still... Oh, now you're probably gonna... And now hypothermia is gonna set in. And you're probably gonna die. It's pretty cool wildlife in this game. Rabbit, squirrels. We saw some deer. Uh, and I think there's some bigger game, too. Pretty cool. Lots of birds, fish, turtles. Okay, this is some kind of campsite. Let's do a little bit of the lootings. A little bit of the lootings. Let's get that. Uh, meds. Rope. Good. This would be helpful. We could save there if we wanted to. We can sleep there. That's cool. That was a can opener. Did I just get a can opener? Sick. I got a can opener. <laughs> and then, what is this? Some cloths, some rope. Pick up everything that we can find. Every little thing is going to help. And there's a cave here as well. And we're gonna check that out. This is like an ice cave. This is extremely cool. Look at this. Now, I already know, spoil, spoiler, a uh, little bit of a spoiler, This we did actually check out this cave, Scarecrow and I and Brobra, and unfortunately this one is just some loot. Um, I mean, loot's great, but that's what I mean when I say, like, some of the caves feel like they're not done. Like, I wonder if, because we're in alpha, maybe some of these caves will be extended. I remember in the forest, every time we went into a cave, it was like a big cave with cannibals, and like, every cave had like a meaning, whether it was like an item was in like, at like the end of it, or like a boss fight or something. So I am hoping that these are just going to be extended. Maybe they're not ready yet for the alpha or the like the beta, the early access version. But we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, that's cool. Look at the climber helmets. Oh, man. I, I wish we could kind of take one. That might come in handy. Protect the old noggin. Yeah, you know what I mean? But yeah, graphically, man, that, that it's so nice. Super pretty. And I definitely don't have the graphics turned up all the way. Like I've got like medium, medium graphics because my PC is absolute trash. <laughs> Uh, Calvin, what's up, dude? Oh, you too scared to go in there? That's all right. Let's get out of the snow. It's too cool. It's too cold to build here right now. We're just going to constantly be freezing. Um, and that's another cool thing is there's, there's actually seasons in this. So I think you start out, it's like spring. I feel like it's like spring or summer. And then it kind of becomes autumn. And then eventually you get snow everywhere. This is like a snow biome up in the mountains. But eventually it snows everywhere. And you do like cycle through the different uh, seasons, which is pretty nifty, man. Pretty cool. Uh, maybe I can get that rabbit. Oh boy! Yeah, they're not very fast. Gotcha. Gotcha. Lunch, baby. Lunch. Let's go. There's a fish right there. Huh. Oh, no way. I can just hatch at the fish? It's <laughs> the first time I've seen that. Oh, that's, uh... Okay, I'm full on meat. That's all the meat I can take. I think you can only take like five pieces of meat. I kind of hope they like, they buff that. I'd like to be able to carry a little bit more than that at a time. But eventually you get a base down, you get a drying rack, and you can just start hanging up your, your pieces of meat anyway. So here's a cool little waterfall. The waterfalls look so good, man. How good is that? Love it. Now, I'm wondering if it's going to be worth it to try to... You know what? We could probably go down. Here's another waterfall all along. Look at the waterfall all alongs. I wonder if I can go cascading down it. You think? Oh, yeah. I can just walk right down it. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. Can't get over how good the waterfalls look. For night one, we're definitely just going to be making a little shelter with the tarp. Tarp and two sticks. You get, like, a little shelter that you can lay under. You can save it, and you can sleep for the night. So that's what we're going to be doing. But look at how good the forest looks, man. When you get into the forest, it's super, like, majestically immersive and, and beautiful. You know what I mean? Like, look at this, dude. 
Like, look at when he chopped the trees, too. Yeah. It's something to behold. So first, the moss falls off. Then look at the detail in the wood as you chip away at it. All the layers of the wood in there. Isn't that wild? Oh, gosh. What the? Where the heck did you come from? <laughs> He's just sitting right beside me. Okay, that's super creepy. Those ones are like crawl crawlers. They usually, they seem to not usually attack. Okay, Kelvin's here already, sweet. Like, they're pretty neutral, but, but I have been attacked by them before without, uh, without initiating, uh, violence. They sometimes will initiate violence, but usually they'll just kind of hop around you. Uh, cannibals do in interact with the trees. Like, they'll climb way up and jump tree to tree. It's insane. It's absolutely insane to see. Um, another cool thing is in the inventory here, you've got, like, a light system. An LED system. Turn the lights on, change the color. I'm a huge fan of that. I know it's just like a little tiny thing, but I'm all about the details, man. I like the little details. It is suddenly very quiet. I don't trust you. You must die. Oh, did his leg? Oh, he busts his leg right off. Oh, gosh. You are one creepy. Whoa, what in the god? That's a hawk? <laughs> what? That was kind of awesome. Did it come in to try to eat him? Okay, did he die? He bled out. Oh my, that was dramatic, man. Whoa. What is going on here? I'm just gonna leave this guy here and we'll pretend that didn't happen, maybe? Okay, let's see if we can take a med real quick. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Just eat the whole bottle? We're gonna die. I don't know if I've seen this. I have not. I like it. I like it. I kind of like this. This could be something. And there's a waterfall over there. Let's go over that waterfall. Oh, this is kind of nice, dude. I kind of like this. This is a lot of water. And I believe I can drink this water. Should be able to. Should be safe. So, lots of water. We want to make sure that we're in a place where there's plenty of resources. Tons of sticks will be around here. We got tons of logs, tons of trees for logs. Uh, wildlife nearby that we saw. This could be good. And we want to use the water to our advantage a little bit. Obviously, we can't be completely surrounded by water. Like, you can't build, like, in deep water. You can't put your foundations uh, any deeper than, like, maybe, like, a foot of water. It just doesn't work. We can't build out in the middle, unfortunately. Unless there's a lake here somewhere where there's a little island in the middle. That would be super, super OP if that's a thing. Let's head up this wide river. And see what's up ahead here. There's another lake that splits off into these two rivers. Let's go check that out. Now, on the map, you guys can see, like, the, the green circle that's flashing. And, like, the... The purple circles with the exclamation marks, those are like points of interest. So whether it be like an item or um, it's something, essentially. Some of them are camps, I think. Um, so that's kind of cool. They show you all the cave entries by the looks of it. Maybe maybe that's not all of them, but maybe it's actually just some of them. I don't know. But uh, that is different from the forest. In the forest, you did not have uh, entryways to caves uh, revealed on the map. You have to find them. So that's something they've done differently as well. I love all the waterfalls, man. I love the elevation changes with the waterfalls along the rivers. They look so good. I'm pretty excited about the water. I've never, been I never thought I'd be so excited about never thought I'd be so excited about waterfalls. Yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, there she is. So this is Virginia. So, she's very, very interesting. Hi. Yeah, cannibal over there. Be careful. She's very mysterious, very eerie. Um, hey, lady, would you like to dance with me? Looks like she's already kind of trusting me. That's kind of... No, not quite. See, Calvin will just kind of point out the cannibals, too. Um, he's too scared to fight them. We got blueberries. Blueberries don't do much, but it's something. I've noticed that the, the yarrow plants are really good. You can eat the yarrow plants. They give you both food and hydration. So that's really cool. This is a really big lake. Really big. It's getting dark, by the way. As you guys can see. So we're going to need to drop a little shelter. Yeah, we got our lighter. A little bit of light. Well, we're getting some rain. It's dark. It's raining. Let's get up on this ledge. Oh my gosh. We got like a full-on storm coming in. Holy, the audio is brilliant in this game. It really is. It's very, very good. 
Um, also, the windstorms look incredible. The way the wind blows through the trees. Like, can't see it much now, but it's pretty incredible stuff. Let's get a little shelter down. For this, all you do is drop the tarp. Oh, he's like, he's having trouble. I don't know why. <laughs> he doesn't want to do it. There we go. That was weird. Should be able to lift up another corner. Good. He's like delayed with uh, the animation. That's kind of weird. But there we go. And that's all it is. That's all it takes for your little, your little shelter. And now we can actually sleep through the night. Boom. Daytime. Let's go. Whoa. Just wake up to a friggin' massive bull moose sleeping next to me. What? Oh, and another one right here. That is incredible. That's so crazy. I'm just not gonna buy, I'm not gonna mess with these just yet. Let's make a bow. So for a bow, what do I need? So we just put, uh, we just put the stick in the middle, right? Repair tool, crafted bow. I need two ropes, uh, two sticks, and then I just need, what is that other thing? Uh, tape, boom, done. And then we click the cog and that's it. We got a bow. We got a bow. We got a bow. We do, right? Didn't mean to do that. Hi. Okay, he's had enough. Okay, well, I'm just gonna let you go. <laughs> hey, Kelvin, uh, we're really hungry. Uh, so I'm gonna need to cook some food. So in order to make a campfire, it's actually super simple. Um, if I equip a stick, check this out. This is actually really cool. If I equip a stick, I can just look at the ground. Let's put the lighter away. Yeah, I can build it right on the rock here. Just do that. And then another one and boom, there's my fire. It pulls the lighter out automatically. You hold down the button, and that's it. Isn't that right, Kelvy? <laughs> I know, I know. My ears are itchy too. All right. Um. Oh, that's a long way down. Like I could try to build a base right along here. Oh my gosh, that's what I might do. I might use this as like a platform. Oh, that would be cool, and have a cabin right here right over the waterfall that might be kind of cool they wouldn't be able to attack from that side or that side so all i would have to do is like fence this off and fence that off hey calvin calvin likes it okay here's what i want you to do calvin here's your next task your mission should you choose to accept it i need you to get the logs and drop them uh just take those logs and friggin drop them right here man Ooh. yeah sweet okay i'm gonna start chopping so i think how it works though if there's logs on the ground he'll gather them up he'll prioritize pick them up and putting them over, over where you asked him to put them rather than chopping but if nothing's chopped it looks like he actually chops them himself which is pretty awesome that'll give us a good start we can start laying a foundation on that waterfall and we'll see what's possible the building in this game is so good. It's very satisfying, man. I'm a big fan of it. I'm gonna get a straight line right over this waterfall. Just like that. And now, we can continue it across. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. That's fine, we're gonna need that one there anyway. Oh, I might I might have gone too far back. Here, let's see. Oh, oh, it works. Wow. I wonder, hang on. Can I get one here, though? I can. Incredible, okay. That's probably perfect. This is cool. Watch this. So when it goes down like that, right? If it's not straight, you'll just like, he'll drop it sloped and then you just get it. So it shows that arrow like pointing up. Look, look what he does. This is like the coolest thing I've ever seen in survival building. You guys see this. This is insane. This is just absolutely insane. How good is that? Now, my next question is how big can I make this? It's only gonna be too wide. So we're gonna have like this weird, really long, thin, narrow base. Uh, unless, I mean, we could try to mess with this. But let's me put one there, and then what is it gonna do? Huh, okay, I don't know if that's gonna be. Wonder if I was to just scoot this over to the left just a little bit, if I could fit three. I feel like I could. I might try it, I might try it.
Moment of truth. Can we fit a third? Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's gonna work. It's totally gonna work. Wow, I'm a genius. Look at this. Dude. The dream waterfall base is slowly becoming a reality right before our eyes. Have you ever seen anything like it? Look at him, he's felling trees on his own. What an absolute superstar this guy is. Look at all the logs I've got. Oh my gosh. This is the best day of my life on this island. This is literally only the second day of my life on this island, but this is the best day of my life on this island, dude. We haven't been bothered by any cannibals yet. We got moose in the area. We're gonna have lots of meat and such. Tons of, tons of trees. Absolutely tons of trees. This base is huge. This is gonna be massive. It's kind of ridiculous. I'm all about the building in these games, you know? Just like, we're gonna, I'm gonna make the craziest compound out of this, like. Okay, so maybe that's far enough, I'm thinking. We can make that the end. Boom, boom, one more at the end there. I can't believe how well that worked. Like, how insane is that gonna look? Like, when we back up, like, oh my gosh, looking at this base above the waterfall is gonna be friggin' wild. Oh, that's gonna look so cool. Man, oh man, I'm excited for that. All right, so this should just go across. Boom. Just like that. Just beautiful. That is going to be super cool. We got Kelvin over here working hard. He's chopping trees. He's dumping the logs off. Yeah, we got a good thing going here. We got a real good thing going. The next thing we need to do, we got to get into uh, some, some campsites. Find some campsites. Find some energy drinks. Hopefully nearby, maybe we've got something. Uh, but it's getting dark, so that's what we're going to do uh, in the morning. Um, try to get some more of this area kind of figured out. We haven't done any exploring. I have no idea what's close by. Uh, we'll have to kind of explore. Keep this base going. Uh, I want to get the first walls up. Uh, start to get uh, some things happening here. But I'm super stoked with the way this has started. Uh, that's going to do it for part one. If you guys like the video, uh, drop a like on it. Let me know. Uh, the likes really do help. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, so please do subscribe as well, you guys. And uh, I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you in part two.